Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and it is freezing cold, which is why I'm sat here in my dressing gown at night making this video for you. So thanks for tuning into the channel as always. This is a very delayed um, video, which I'll go into a bit more detail at the end, but this is my solar PV stats for my PV system here in Worcestershire in UK for October. 2022. So if you're new to the channel and you're not sure what uh, my solar PV setup is, then click the link up here and it will give you an overview of the setup that um, we have here in Worcestershire. But let's crack on with the performance for October 2022. So for the month, the system generated 622.94 kilowatt hours and we self consumed 92% of that. So uh, pretty good. Um, and we still had a requirement though to import electricity from the grid. So we did import 570 kilowatt hours from the grid. And again, we'll touch on this towards the end, but um, most of that tends to be off peak. So we're with Octopus Energy, so paying around 7.5 pence uh, per kilowatt off peak. And we use that to charge up the power wall uh, heat our hot water with the My Energy Eddy and um, charge our electric cars as well. So that's kind of the production that we had um, for the month. And we did export uh, a bit more than we normally do actually. So 52.44 kilowatt hours of energy went back into the grid. So yeah. Couldn't, couldn't use it all, um, even though the weather wasn't that fantastic. But however, if we do compare um, October 2022 to our previous years, it is our best solar generation October we've had on record. So actually, October was pretty good um, for us here. I'd be interested to know in the comments how your October was. Was it the standout year for you? Or was the weather not so good in your part of the UK or in the world for that matter? So in terms of for the month, our best generation day was on the 10th of October and we generated 35.2 kilowatt hours. Our highest export day was on the 15th of October where we exported 8.98 kilowatt hours back into the grid. And the largest import day for us, so when we kind of pulled most in from the grid when we were having to fully charge the power wall, charge our electric vehicles and hit our hot water, was on the 17th of October and we imported 42.14 kilowatt hours of electricity from the grid. So in terms of how we used that energy, obviously majority of it goes into powering the house. Uh, we both work from home, so powering our servers and all that kind of stuff. But some of that goes into heating hot water, charging our two electric cars and powering up the power wall. Now, I don't have all the stats because as I will touch on at the end of the video, I've moved house. Um, so this is the kind of update I have as we were leaving at the end of the month. So Zappi, um, we put 364.4 kilowatt hours of energy into charging electric cars. Not quite sure what the split was in terms of solar and grid, but I'm gonna guess most of it was grid uh, based on the time of the year. Then we put 179.3 kilowatt hours of energy into heating our hot water with the My Energy Eddy. And then finally, 287.3 kilowatt hours of energy we were able to get out of our Tesla Powerwall 2 to avoid us again having to pay peak rates. But interestingly, 58% of that energy that we got out of our Powerwall 2 did actually come from solar, so solar filling up the um, power to as a higher majority with only 42% of it coming from the grid. So um, that's pretty much it in terms of how the solar system or solar PV system has performed for the month. In terms of our bill for the month of October, again, still wasn't using um, much gas, so eight pounds and five pence, and uh, most of that was standing charge. And then our electricity costs um, were £61.94. And that actually works out as an average of 8.36 pence per kilowatt hour 
based on again most of it being off-grid usage so as i mentioned this um during the month of october i've moved house i'm in a different setting now i've moved into a nice old house that needs a lot of work and it's very cold um, but i don't have any solar and i currently don't have any battery so this is the last video for now of my monthly solar updates because i don't have any solar anymore but in the future hopefully by the end of next year um, i will have built a garage that enables me to have solar panels again and then obviously there'll be some videos that kind of lead up to that obviously as me trying to decide what solar setup to get again will i go exactly the same as last time or will i do something slightly different um, i'm already thinking slightly different um so yeah i'll obviously share that research with you and then obviously how that system performs in the future I hope it's going to be kind of similar size um but i did bring my tesla power 2 with me and i'm hoping by the end of the year i will get that installed because i can tell you for the month of excuse me month of november my combined gas and electricity bill is looking like it's over 400 pounds not good shockingly not not good um so i'm hoping to get the power wall in a lot of it is, is actually gas usage um because the house is old and leaky and hard to keep warm at the moment so many projects um that i've got coming on that and i will do an update uh, i guess a video of you know what it's like to have just a, a battery and no solar because i've done some other videos on that obviously people have criticized me because what would i know i've got solar as well so we'll see uh, what changes it makes with the battery but um thanks very much for watching if you haven't done already please consider subscribing and liking this video it really helps out and stay tuned for other videos obviously that are going to be some stuff more related to kind of working on this house I'm not recording everything because already there's been a ton of jobs and i'm trying to fit things in um around work running cat six everywhere putting a server rack in trying to work out how to heat the house better and obviously then diy and renovation as well but um until the next video take care of yourself and uh yeah goodbye for now